Now let's talk about the SECURE Act. If your nonprofit is trying to grow qualified charitable distribution gifts from donors, you really want to know how to explain this to them. In December 2019, the SECURE Act was passed. SECURE stands for Setting Every Community Up for Retirement Enhancement. But you don't need to know that. Just think of it as the SECURE Act. And it's basically meant to prevent older Americans from outliving their savings. There are three big things to know about the SECURE Act. First is that the required minimum distribution, or RMD age, has been pushed back. And remember, an RMD is the money that an IRA owner has to take out of his or her account after a certain age. Starting in 2020, the age for RMDs is pushed back to 72. However, if you were 70 and a half in 2019, you're still on the hook and you still need to take an RMD. The second thing to know is that even though RMD ages are getting delayed, the age of QCD eligibility stays the same. It is still 70 and a half years old. So why would anyone who doesn't have an RMD still make a qualified charitable distribution? Well, donating money early may save them on future taxes. It's also the case that reducing future income may impact the way their Medicare or Social Security benefits are treated. And third, the SECURE Act removes the age cap from making contributions into one's IRA. This can affect the maximum QCD a donor can give later, and in the next video, we'll explore the math.